Listen, right, I was sorry. about to say, bless my own heart. <laughs> bless your heart. <laughs> Listen, I have no problem calling my own self out. Like, I'd be like, oh, blonde moment. Bless my heart. <laughs> like... What's up, Dad Hat crew? And welcome to another episode of the Dad Hat Chronicles podcast. This week, I finished my conversation with Jordan Price. We discussed her time with jacksonville jaguars we finished that conversation then we also talk a little bit more about the jacksonville jumbo shrimp also we talk merchandise may or may not have bought some hats just saying and then finally my famous not so famous questions before i give you guys the episode i wanted to remind you guys that if you are interested in the curve print media meetup we will be having that here in north carolina may 24th 25th and 26th we will be attending the holly spring salamanders the carolina mudcast and the durham bulls three games three week three days it's gonna be awesome guys so i want you guys to come and try to make it at least for one right we're gonna hang out have some fun drink some beers eat some hot dogs and of course watch some baseball all right now that we got that part out of the way i give you guys the episode so, you know, obviously you, you got to experience all of this and now you're bringing all of this back to to the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. But I want to know a little bit about your the offseason, right? Because during the offseason, people think that not a lot goes on with with the with the baseball team, but there's still some things that you guys do. Like, I mean, you even oh, have yeah. the video shoots and, and all of that. So, like, mm-hmm. what's what does that look like? So Brian and I, Brian's my video guy, Brian and I once a month get together and we do the off season show update. And it's just to update what's going on. You know, like October is more like the Marlins kind of thing. Like, you know, the Marlins season who had a really like jazz Chisholm jazz played for us. Mm -hmm. An amazing guy. I love his personality. So, you know, Jazz had this kind of a season Our one of our players got pulled up and, you know, he ended this season, you know, or who was the player of the year or things like that. So that's just kind of like a follow up to the season. November is kind of like, all right, what's our Black Friday special? Do we have a movie coming? Because we still want to bring families into the ballpark. So we have movie night on the field. That's awesome. Um, sometimes well, I think we had a bingo game one night. They had like the disc golf or they had like they have a little putt putt course at Top Golf that they do like an event for. So we always have something going on because we always want to bring family to the ballpark, but we want to make it affordable family fun too. Mm-hmm. We don't want to turn anybody away. We want them to continue to love the shrimp in season and off season. So yeah, we do that. Then I was asked. Or I actually asked, I was like, do you want a merch suit, girl? Like, do you need a, do you need a toddler? Like, we've never done toddlers. Mm-hmm. Um, so it it's whatever they need. Like, if they need me to come in and shoot a video, I'll come in and shoot a video. If you need me to come and do a merch suit, I'll come and do a merch suit. Like, I love the baseball park. I love the people who work there. So I'm up for anything. And I try to take Lily whenever I can, if she can come do shrimp show. Yeah. I want her to come do shrimp show. I've had great bloopers with her. Like last, this time last year, I took her up there and I just want her to say play ball because she was getting in that talking. Yeah. And homegirl was picking her nose. Of course. Homegirl was wanting to sing baby shark. Yep. Okay. Yep. That was my favorite. She was like, no, 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 no. Baby shark, baby. And I'm like, oh Lord, (laughs) these are going to be great bloopers. But then at the end of the, at the end of the thing, she's like, play ball. I'm like, yeah, I got to play ball. Like, That's all know. I needed. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it's always something. We're, we got something going on. So it just to keep everybody in the loop. So now, like, I'll go in and I'll shoot Shrimp Show. And it'll be, all right, what's leading up to opening day? What are we fixing to have? What movie night's coming up? What's going on in spring training? Things like that. Who's made the 40-man roster? Our coaching staff was announced. The Marlins announced their coaching staff. Just trying to keep everybody in the loop because, yes, it's off season, but it's not really off season. Something's going on. Is. Yeah, it never yeah. is off season in baseball. All right, two more questions, and then we'll go into my famous, not so famous questions here. One: Have you ever pulled a tarp? Yes, one time. Because <laughs> <One time. laughs> I've always said I wanted to pull tarp, and I okay. did. I never knew how hard that was. Really? Never knew. Especially when there's water. Oh, oh, my Lord. I didn't know you had to pull it all the way down, 
all the way back, all the way down. Then you had to fold it. I never knew. And so it's always funny because always on the rain days, I'd be, I've either forgotten my rain boots or I'm wearing white. Of course. And I'm like, nah, I'm not, I'm not full and tarp in the white. So I can never <laughs> so say yeah, never. Mama's not doing it. that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would do it if I just knew I wasn't going to get muddy. Like, yeah. <laughs> soaked. Because you still got to MC even afterwards. Oh, yeah. So I like my backpack always has my rain boots, and my rain jacket in it, because when in doubt, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to entertain the fans in the rain. I've done it plenty of times and I'll continue to do it. We've had a, a wolfy ball tournament in the rain because we had a rain delay and, you know, we want to keep the fans entertained. So we went out there and played wolfy ball. I even played wolfy ball holding a microphone like, you know, David's really good at I would never ask y'all to do something I wouldn't do. And I'm like kind of the same way. I'm not fixing to make y'all go out there and not be in the rain. Like I'll have a rain jacket and, and rain boots, but I'll yeah. still go out there and I'll still entertain. It's part of the business, right? Yeah. All right. And then my last question, actually, you you brought up another one. You said woofy ball. Mm-hmm. What is that? So I didn't know. Until, <laughs> I had no idea until they told me because I was like, I, I mean, I know like wiffle baseball? ball. And I, yeah. Oh, is it wiffle ball? Is it wiffle or wiffle? Ball? I don't know. Wait, let's. What is it? It's like the little ball with the holes in it. It's like oh. a little like with the yellow bat. I guess. Yeah. I just took. Yeah. It's yes. So is it wiffle or wiffle? Wiffle. Wiffle so ball. Right. Right. You did. Okay. <laughs> like, All right. So we're good. Listen, All right, I sorry. was about to say, bless my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> bless your heart. <laughs> Listen, I have no problem calling my own self out. Like, I'd be like, oh, blonde moment. Bless my heart. (laughs) I have no problem. That's good. No shame in my game. (laughs) I say that too. So, oh, that's good. All right. (laughs) I'm dying here. All right. Last question. We can have bloopers. I always have bloopers. (laughs) You can ask Brian. This is going to be part of like the intro of the uh, of the of the uh, podcast now. It's like you know, it bless my heart. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. It, I want obviously. I am a massive, massive fan of hats. Like I have like these kind of hats, that hats. I have a lot, too many. My I wife even says, think about wearing one. Oh, uh, the humanity. How oh, dare Yesterday's you, Yesterday's hair was still going, so See? I couldn't cover it up. <laughs> I get you, girl. I got no hair, so I get it. So that's why I wear a hat. Uh, so, but you guys do really, really good job at always bringing out different merch all the time. Um, Usually our hat wall. It is amazing. Oh, I've been there. I've been to your to your ballpark. Oh, you I was have? there last year. Okay, so you've seen the whole backside wall. Like it is amazing. It's beautiful. And now we got new kid ones. Oh, Lily yeah. wouldn't wear it, but we have the cutest little kid section. Because when we were in the the shop on Monday, I was looking at. It and I was like, these hats are really cute for little kids. And, <laughs> and then Lily's like, no. <laughs> of course it's my daughter she same thing beautiful curly hair so i'm like okay girl yeah we can't hide the curly hair so yeah. it's okay my daughter's the same thing she's like daddy I, I, it's okay so i stopped buying her hats just because you know this is no no point so we went from uh, yeah. hats to stuffed animals now that's just how that goes if i go to a game that oh my gosh that's her and then her new thing you know she loves sharks and whatnot we went to Dave and Buster's and she, out of everything, I'm like, here's this really sparkly unicorn. Like, you're going to love it. Nope. She wanted the hand puppet plastic shark. <laughs> of course. That's how it goes. I'm like, out of everything in the store, you want this little hand puppet plastic shark? She's like, yep. And when I say she got up the next morning and she's like, where's my blue shark? Of course. Girl, I don't know where your blue shark is. Like, You did. You, that- where'd you put it? Mm-hmm. Yep, she spent all morning trying to find that stupid blue shark, <laughs> but she loves it. Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, how much merch do you have, Jacksonville Shrimp, uh, Jumbo Shrimp? Do you have? Is it bad? <laughs> like, where do I begin? So, I have a storage pie <laughs> 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 that I have like buckets of things, and I'm like, you know, you got your holiday wear, you of got course. your fancy dress wear, you got. Um, 
my Jaguar wear. Cause you never want to, I don't want to throw anything Jaguar is the way. Cause look at everything's coming back, you know, the throwback collection. Of course. And, like, and then just like, I just, I used that. to wear that. I used to wear that just so yeah. you guys know. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I can still fit in it. So it's like bust that little shirt out, you know, here and there. And then I have a jumbo shrimp one. And so I bust out my winter wear. So I bring in all my winter wear and I had to move out my jumbo shrimp wear. So it's, uh, yeah, I got a lot. I got to get me some more Jacksonville because I guess have the the Jacksonville Suns. Yeah, the throwback. Oh man! Uh, I, some I, of that. I when I went in there on Monday, I was like, I need this, and they're like, really? And I'm like, mm-hmm, I need that shirt. I'm gonna need that shirt. The sweatshirt I wore, I was like, Brennan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need this. Like, I, I'll come back for this. <laughs> That's how it is. It's just uh, with me. It's just like it, I, I have a problem. And like I'm always on the websites, you know, looking at all of like for every every team. Right. I always go look <laughs> at the hats, the hats and see what they have. And then, of course, I'm literally right now as we're talking, I'm looking at the hats that you guys have. The sons, the new ones. I that love you a guys... good uh, camo one. I love good camo. I don't like... have that many camo ones. Really? No, I, I mean, don't. but I'm I'm down here in the south. I'm a little country girl, so I love a good camo. <laughs> no, I uh, I'm trying to think of some good ones. I love the red trucker hat. It mm-hmm. has kind of like a bigger logo. I love the trucker hat. I just love a good a good hat, like you know, like a good red one, a good white one. You know, the white vice ones everything. that you guys have. The ones Ooh, I have that one. Miami Vice. Yeah, love, I got hot pink Converse's. So I can wear on Miami Vice night. That's well, that's good. That's good pairing right yeah. there. That one you guys have the I kind of actually I literally have a bunch of like you got the the the, the Mets one the with the J on it. Oh, that's yeah. a beautiful one. Like I said, is it, see, I see. What's the new one? I think it's the Seabirds. Is it the Seabirds? Oh, I want one so bad. The yeah. nine the new era 920 Seabirds. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. It has the J and the B on it, but the bird on the side. Yeah. Girl, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> I'm literally it's really looking. nice. I can't complain. <laughs> oh, see, I want that one. See, I'm, I'm about a, to... see. Sorry. You go, you're gonna get me in trouble with my wife. That's what it is. I'm about to spend some money. So I... me with Ian. <laughs> oh God. I literally have two full tubs full of hats. Like I used to have them all up on the wall before we moved. I was going to from... say you need a whole wall, girl. I had a whole office full of walls, uh, oh, full yeah. of full of uh, like the whole wall, all of them, all of them were all full. And mm-hmm. we knew we moved into this new house, and my office is literally you open the door and it's my office. So we compromised, and then I put them in the tub. So there's that. <laughs> That's how marriage works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to compromise, and it landed here. <laughs> exactly. Happy wife is a happy life. So there's exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> <Can't explain. laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to do an easy one first. Okay. You go to your ballpark, but you're going as a fan, okay? You're not going to work, okay? What is your food and your drink of choice? Uh, alcohol or not alcohol? <laughs> Whatever you want. I, I listen. I'm a I'm a fan of beer. I gotta get me a beer before I when I go in there. So I actually have went a few times as a fan, and I've never made it out to the Tiki Terrace. Oh, never. I did. It was beautiful. Well, you know, they have the little shrimp cup drinks and I always wanted to try one and I never did. So I'm, I kicked myself. So I'm going to have to go and try out one of the Tiki Terrace drinks. But we have a lemonade stand and they make fresh lemonade and the strawberry lemonade. Perfect. Ballpark food. I love a good hot dog, but I love a good cheeseburger. Mm. So, but they have the Duval heavy hitter. So it's a helmet. And it has cheese fries, chicken tenders. It's just a, like a big cheesy mess. And I love it. I got to try that when I go back. Uh, Duval that heavy sounds, hitter. That sounds Can't delicious. Mm-hmm. On a hot dog, ketchup and mustard or mustard only. What's your, what's your uh, condiment of choice? So I have both. Chili cheese hot dog. Like fat kid status over here. But I love a good mayonnaise Talk ketchup me. mustard. Yeah, I know. absolutely. Our slaw, I love it. It's got to be good slaw, though. You can't give me some bad slaw. 
If it's a good slaw, I can hit up a slaw dog. Yeah, but it can also be too runny because if it's runny, I can, it, oh, it, yeah. you know what it I mean? Messes it up, makes it a little soggy. You can't do it. Yeah, I'm exactly. a foodie. I'm a fat kid. <laughs> oh, I, I am know. all about food. Especially when you go to a <laughs> ballpark, you got to try something different. Oh, girl, yes. Uh, I know. I can't wait to. I always tell David every year, I'm like, when you're going to do like the new menu, try like, you know, the front office staff gets to try the new menu. Can I come? Yeah. <laughs> like, I want to be part of this. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds amazing. I was like, what are we doing? Like, oh, we're just trying food today. I'm like, perfect. Sign me up for that. Yeah. <laughs> and times our food, sign me up. Exactly. All right. What is it that you do when you're bored? Uh, obviously, you're never bored. But like, if you were to find yourself during that time, what's the one thing you like to do when you're bored? Nap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nap is so under underappreciated nowadays. Like people don't do I that. I hate it when the nap doesn't want you though. When you're what? like, I got a good two hours and I can just take a little good nap, and the nap doesn't want you, and you're like, is this a sign that I yeah. should like actually be in productive? Do something, yeah. <laughs> so I don't get many of that. Sometimes when Lily naps, I try to nap, but I, I mean, if I can nap, I will nap. Today I don't get a nap, so it's like, meh. but if I can nap. Sign me up. <laughs> Do you believe in power naps? Like 20 yes, minutes. A good 20 minute power nap. So I had a I had an ex-boyfriend back in the day. He was a strengthening conditioning coach for the Jag. And he said, You it's either 20 minute or two hour, nothing in between. And I cold heartedly believe that because it's like or wholeheartedly. I don't need wholeheartedly. Whole heartedly. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got coal for your heart. Bless, <laughs> bless my heart right bless there. <laughs> <laughs> wholeheartedly i believe that because if you get in that like good 45 minute nap you're in that deep sleep room and then you just can't get out of it yep so i will set my alarm for 20 minutes and not even like i won't even like sleep sleep but i'll get back up and i'll be like all right i'm good to go here we go so yeah 20 minutes or two hours nothing in between that's that's my thing right there 20 minutes that is right there Mm -hmm. for me that's the perfect time for me just boom done let's go all right i'm ready to go yep Oh, yeah. I love it. Have you ever regifted a gift? Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who hasn't? Yeah. Sometimes it's the teacher gifts. You get a lot of candles. <laughs> like, I thought of you when I saw this candle. Yeah. No, I love my candles. I actually, I think I got three for Christmas and I, the power went out the other day and I had all three on. So they came in handy. There you go. Absolutely. You got to always have some candles available. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and you I, obviously you've never seen any Disney movies, right? Because you know we never see Disney <laughs> movies in our home, uh, right? Exactly. We literally just watched one last night. Yeah. What Disney princess would make the best spy? Hmm. Ah, uh, that one's hard. Because I love. So we're currently in Belle. Mm. Uh, we have watched Beauty and the Beast a thousand times. I can quote the whole movie at this point. <laughs> I want to say Belle because she can see the best in people, but then you got frozen because, you know, she can frozen. She can freeze hard, you yeah. know, cold hearted people. <laughs> cold hearted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she can freeze them. Moana because she's determined. So, I mean, you, you, well, every you one of them has got a little bit of something, you know? You write about that. So that one's hard. A little bit of everybody, I guess. <laughs> All right. I like it. All right. Favorite TV show growing up? Oh, I'm a sucker for like a throwback. Happy Days, Dukes of Hazard. Oh, I love the good ones. Um, the Jeffersons, Ooh, that's Gilligan's a good one. Island. Like I'm a old old soul. So like those. I used to have Dukes of Hazard seasons on VHS and DVD. So wow, P- people don't know what a VHS is or a DVD is nowadays. So you got to be. No, they don't know that. the struggle of having to rewind. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, hold on a second. I got to rewind it a couple. Oh, I went too far. Yeah. I no, I it. remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you could be any fictional character, which character would you be? Mm, like Disney or not Disney? <laughs> you pick. It's your. This is your question. Ah, uh, like ah. Uh, so right now we're hooked on Belle, and I feel like Belle was always my favorite character because she always wore a yellow dress. And my favorite color is yellow. Okay. And I think I resonate with her the best because she saw the beauty, you know, in the in the Beast, and it's like I kind of 
that's how I want to portray myself is to see the beauty in everyone. Like okay. always see the, the, give them the benefit of the doubt, see their kind heart. And I feel like that's why I went into special needs because actually my uh, niece is actually here. She has autism and, you know, growing up, we, we would never expose the autism. So you don't really know much. And she wasn't speaking at the time. So I taught her sign language and started getting that communication gap and whatnot. And so like, it's just really diving deep and seeing that beauty, no matter what, seeing her come to life yeah. and having her light because she was being understood. And that's why I became a special needs teacher because a lot of these kiddos are not misread, but not understood because mm -hmm. people are not wanting that, not wanting to understand them, not yeah, going that extra mile. Yeah. And so for me and my sister is a special needs teacher as well. Now it's one of those is we want them to be understood. We want them to be heard and we want to bring light to the world's special needs. And so our biggest thing is we don't need them to fit into our world. Mm -hmm. We need to understand and fit in their world. Like we need to be a part of their world. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what Belle did as well. She understood that Beast had a heart. She just didn't see this, you know, Beast. Mm -hmm. She just saw that there was someone genuine. And I think that resonates with me because I want to see the best in everybody as well. I love it. That's a great answer. That's a great oh, answer. Thanks. Good job. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I didn't even rehearse that. Like that's good. <laughs> I, I mean, because you got to be on, right? Once you, once the yeah. camera's on you, you got to be on. Oh no, I have my moments. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have your bless the camera's my heart. always watching. I will say the camera. They have a jumbo shrimp. They have a blooper. Jordan's blooper file because awesome. they know the camera's always on, and they're they're going to snip it and they're going to save it in that bloopers for later. So <laughs> I like it. And then just release it on social media. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That's what it, it is. What it is. Like no one can be perfect. So no, should, no I, should they I be. Want, yeah. I want people to know they're just like me and I'm just like them. Like, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 100%. All right. Couple, couple more questions and then I'll, I'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, if you could be in any movie. Okay. It can't be beauty and the beast. Now where I'm going to, I'm going to put you on the spot now. <laughs> No more Disney. I got it. What movie would it be? I am a sucker for Sweet Home Alabama. I love Sweet Home Alabama with Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> yep. Like, I can quote the entire movie. Like, that has been my number one. And I am a sucker for a good love story. Mm -hmm. And it's just everything about it. A down-home country girl, you know, I kind of feel like I get that exposure of the city world because I go out and about there. And, but, like, Something always brings me to the country life. Like, I love it. You know, we're out yeah. here. I'm on 25 acres and there's, you can't see your neighbors. I'm surrounded by woods and it's just you. Like, you're not having to worry about the hustle and bustle. So, and you always want to fall for that love story. So, Sweet Home I Alabama. All right. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And then last question, nickname growing up. Mm. I don't, I don't really have it. They always call me Jay. Jay. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's Jay. I mean, you have a pretty name. unique name, you know? So. Yeah. It doesn't... Our always that is the price is right. Our Michael Jordan, like Jordan as a Michael Jordan. I'm like, Mer. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Can we can we be a little, can we be more original? Yeah. My niece and my nephew call me Jojo. So mm -hmm. I Jojo. So Jojo or Jay. Gotcha. I, you know what? I love it. I like mm -hmm. it. Jordan, thank you so much for doing this. I had no a blast. Problem. I loved it. <laughs> thank you so much. I mean, uh, where can people find you on the socials? So Instagram, I'm a little bit more private, but Jaden okay. Price 08. I just got on TikTok. I'm starting the TikTok world, starting the TikTok trend. Uh, so Jaden Price 08. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm learning. Same um, here. Twitter, Twitter is what? Jordan M. Price 08. So, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Tweet and then, me. I love it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And then uh, once it goes out, I'll let you, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll make sure I'll try to go back to uh, Jacksonville uh, one more time because it was a beautiful ballpark. Uh, you guys did an amazing job. And then obviously your hat wall is awesome. Uh, who doesn't need a hat wall at every store, right? Oh, right. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for having me. Always.
This podcast is part of the Curved Brim Media Network. Here are some of the other members of Curved Brim Media. Hi, this is Kelly Robinson, the Minor League Nerd. My YouTube channel explores the history of minor league baseball teams. More than just stats, we delve into team lineage, sharing stories from current franchises to obscure one-year wonders. I'm Paul Caputo, and on the Baseball by Design podcast, I talk to minor league baseball teams, designers, and other super interesting people about what these minor league baseball logos mean. And I talk a little bit about ice cream helmets. What's up, Bucketheads? I'm Anna Tommaso, and each week on the Baseball Bucket List podcast, I speak with a different fan about their favorite baseball memories, what the game means to them, and what's left to check off on their baseball bucket list. Hey, everyone. It's Eric from the great state of Kansas. This is Johnny from the New Orleans Baby Cakes Memorial Museum. And we are the Earn Fun Average Podcast, where we talk to a variety of guests about their love of baseball and have fun doing it. America, lower your standards. Average is what we do best. This is Patrick. And Corey. Oh, BaseballMapper.com. And we have made an interactive map to help highlight all baseball teams from the majors down to collegiate summer leagues. We want to bring you closer to baseball. So get on the site and find a team near you today. Hey guys, this is Patrick Larson from the Minor League Baseball Hat History Series. And in every episode, I go through the history of minor league teams through my personal collection of hats. You can find me on Twitter at at PatLarson1. I hope you guys enjoy. Learn more about Curve Brim Media at curvebrimmedia.com.